Ah, there we go. Lovely breakfast. Nice cup of coffee. So yeah, I saw a strange man out here. Virtual Dagoman, if I'm not mistaken. I think he's gone now, so we shouldn't have any trouble from him. Uh, let me get my shoes. There we go. And we're going to start farming. So um, yeah, I updated the map. Down here at the port you can see the grain boat has been updated, looking much more swish. Very nice. It was looking a bit clapped out before. So yeah, Alien Jim has done a good job there. Very good job. Still put the grain in the same place. It's had a very nice refit. And uh, yeah, I think there's been some other updates as well. So uh, I was very slow at updating, but I have finally done it. Let's jump into this tractor, and I've actually already made a purchase today. I've bought an old mower. It is currently still over at the port, but what we need to do is try and buy a bigger tractor so that we can do the cultivating faster. We're going to be needing some diesel soon. Uh, now we actually do have all the wood still, we've got all the wood in the field, but we have cleared probably two thirds of the field. So it's looking much better than it was before, so I want to get the withered crop cultivated up and uh, we want to get a new crop in. And uh, yeah, I just want to start upgrading a few things. The cultivator is the first thing to be changed because it's only 2.5 meters. We can go bigger, but it's technically a tiller, what we currently have. Uh, so yeah, let's just have a quick browse. I did add a couple of tractors to the game, uh, but I think it's going to be quite tricky to go with one of these because well what we could do I guess is go for a larger 240 for example it's a bit more powerful I did add these very nice mods but I think we're going to struggle to find cultivation equipment to fit the hitch at least one which is within the range of the horsepower 70 horsepower in fact I don't actually know which cultivators would fit this because uh, most of them fit it to the three point linkage and then the bigger ones are towed like this but then they were too big for it. So I'm sure there is something out there. It's just I'm going to have to look around if we were to go and get one of these fears. But I would love to have one. I think it would look really good. And it's so well modelled as well. You've got the hydraulics here running down the side. Very exposed, but that's just the way it was. So the port's just there. So, yeah, they would be nice to have. They really would. But I think to begin with today, we're just going to have to crack on with what we've got. But we do, like I said, we've got the mower. I want to tidy up the back garden and I'd like to mow the field boundaries as well. If we can, it would also be great to get a bigger trailer because then we could fit a front loader to this tractor, if we can do, and then we could scoop up the grass and put it into a trailer and then either get a small homemade silage pit or we could just sell the grass. Doesn't really matter which one we do. I think we have a diesel refill point just around here. Yes, we do. This isn't actually my area, but I can come here to refuel. Otherwise, I can't refuel the tractors which would seem a bit weird. It's not like we're getting it for free. But when we do get this area, goodness me, it needs to be tidied up. What a mess. Blimey. Okay, oh. What was that, sugar beet? Yes, let's start, I, I was trying to think whether we should start with the mowing or start with the cultivating, or start with selling some wood. I think we'll probably do a little bit of rotivating. We'll sort of mark out some boundaries and stuff. Do the headland. But then I think it would be also good to uh, think about getting a new tractor. There it is. I was wondering where it got to. So this is fine for a very small field, but it's only 2.5 meters to working width, so it is going to be quite tricky to keep going with the field which we have, because our field is actually pretty big. And once we've cleared all the trees, it's going to be huge. Right then, so yeah, we have all this grass margin which will eventually be ploughed up to extend the field. As you can see, this just seems very small for doing this job. We can, I think we can just about afford a cultivator on which is about a metre wider and a new tractor if we go for sort of a, a very old but 80 horsepower trap sort of thing. It is doable. But again, all this grass margin is ours. We own everything up to the cliff face. So it may well be full of weeds, but we can get something out of it. 
Right, so this time, we're going to go all the way to the far side, and then we're going to sort of cut up the middle. Because I'm not going to go around the trees, they need to be cut down. What oh, was that helicopter? I missed that before. Is that one of the new features? This map really is always full of surprises. We're deep into the witheredness. So, let's just get around the corner. And I think just dead level with the trees, that's where we'll go. It's a big area. We actually do now have a huge area to put a new crop in. I did at one stage mention putting grass in. I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile. But then even if we did a cereal crop, we have to harvest it. And our harvester is tiny, so... Either way, it's going to be pretty slow to begin with. Okay, so there we go. I think we'll cut across here. Yep, we have pretty much, I would say, doubled the farming area. We have done about two-thirds of the field. So we just need to have the equipment to match it. Because, as I think I've mentioned a few times, this will be painfully slow. And yes, we don't want to be coming out here. We want to be cutting across here. Making the most of it. There will be a few stumps left in the field, so they're going to have to be chainsawed out. We can do that quite easily. Oh, there's one now, right on cue. So yeah, just hold that down, it'll disappear. For anybody wondering, that is the Lumberjack mod. It's not from the base game. And we're pretty much back at the beginning. So, yep, we have marked it out. There's not that many trees left, actually. But I do want to uh, get the new crop in as a priority. So let's just... I'm just going to have a break. Because that was just so tiring going around once. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and figure out what we can do. Can we get a new tractor? And can we get a new cultivator? What's that? That's, two, that's the same width. That would be what I'd go for. It requires 150 horsepower though. That's the thing. Crikey. Well, I've just been doing loads of research, and it's amazing how there isn't really anything in this sort of bracket that we're in. Uh, things are still cheap, but it's hard to uh, to get something for less than 25-ish thousand pounds. So I came across, it was a John Deere. Don't know if they're going to be suitable for us, but they are 100 horsepower. We're probably going to have to go with the two-wheel drive to begin with, since the cultivator, which we have here, is £6,200 uh, and we might even have to sell something else as well. So let's just see what we can do here. I'm very happy to go with the cheapest of everything. So we'll do that. And as for the roller on the back, I think we'll probably go with... Well, we, we, sh we should really have that, I think, because it's going to crumble the soil more. So it is 7550 because it's actually a default price here. It wasn't taken into account. Uh, so yeah, we have 12281 We can sell the, uh, the tiller here, which I, th I think would be worthwhile. So that's what I'll do. We can sell it. Luckily, we can sell it from the workshop. Then we'll buy the tractor, and with a bit of luck, it's going to work. It's only a little bit bigger, but... We'll also have the traps for other uses as well. Okay. Make sure they take that and not my tractor. There we go. £2,379. And yeah, we'll get that John Deere. So yeah, I've never used them before. We can't afford the other one. That was pretty obvious. But we possibly can change the configuration a bit. We could do with the front weight. We'll set up. We'll set up. It's fine actually. Don't need to touch that. Design. Yeah. We we don't need to be spending extra on that. And you can go to a 105 horsepower, but we can't afford it, and it's only five horsepower more, so it's pretty pointless. So that, oh, there we go. We can't do that either. Take a bit of weight off. 
We can do that. <laughs> You're right. So, will the gamble pay off? I just don't know. It looks good. We do still have the mower here. Yeah, it does look good actually. Ah. You can even see the gear stick moving. That's very nice. Okay, so there you go. As I said, it's only, I think it's only about half a meter bigger. But we might be able to do it at a bit more speed. It has the potential to fit other things on the back. And we have a much more powerful tractor for other jobs as well. It is, however, although quite surprising, two miles per hour slower, this tractor. But I guess the Massey Ferguson is quite superior. I think we've actually got the balance right. The amount of weight that we have is fine. It was bouncing a bit, but it's definitely not uh, taking the wheels off the ground at the front. So we might even be able to use this tractor for the mowing as well. It's just going to be so good now to have two tractors. And I'm hoping that we can put a front loader on the Massey Ferguson because then that can be for front loader work and we can keep this tractor available for field work. I'm sure I just saw a farmer rowing. Oh, and it's not a farmer, sorry. Is it a farmer? Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. It is, well, it's technically a farm. Well, it's what the farmers wear in this game. Don't want to be stereotypical there. Eh? Hang on, they try. Are they smuggling gold? <gasps> oh, crikey, there's a shark. <laughs> they have gold. Goodbye, mystery man. Oh no, the shark has turned round. It's chasing him. It's chasing the gold man. Thankfully, we can get the money back, or some of the money back from the wood. So, although we only have £155, technically we have much more. Because we have all the trees in this field. Why do I keep going around? I might as well just cut through. Yeah, we have all the, uh, the trees here and all the wood in the yard. So there we go. After all that, a lot of work, we are cultivating. And although, yeah, it's it really isn't much bigger. I'm sure it will have an impact if we were to compare the time it would have taken with the other one to this one. This has got to be better. I'm not sure if we are working at 9 miles per hour before. This is fluctuating between 8 and 9. And actually on Series 1 I had the mod enabled to remove the speed limiter to work even faster. I might add that back in, not too sure. But only for time lapses, I, I don't use it otherwise. Okay, well, I'm going to go round the headland probably twice more. And then we're going to start going from down the field, or across the field. Well, we probably won't get this done in this episode, but we can have a start. And I'd like to sell a bit more wood as well. The wood which we have in the yard, it'll be great to start putting that on the ferry. And if you think about it, when you look at the setup we have here, that's not too uh, disappointing really for the, where we are in the series. I think it's actually very impressive. Because I did say before that any episode less than number 10, chances are we're going to have some extremely old machinery. And this isn't extremely old. started hitting my stumps. I did remove them in the rest of the field, that's why we haven't hit any before. But the first ones that I took down, I left the stumps. 
so it is going to become a bit trickier. Uh, we don't have any damage in FS, as you're aware, so we don't have to worry too much about hitting them. It'll just stop the tractor. But really, can you imagine if there was damage? Then we'd really have to be careful. If you had to take it back to a workshop to get things fixed, buy spare parts. But again, it's an option you'd want to have to switch off uh, if you weren't into that sort of thing. If you really were just playing extremely casually, you probably wouldn't want to do that. The option would be so nice. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to probably go back down once more. We'll remove the stumps that we can see. We've made some progress. Certainly by the end of this weekend, this field will uh, have been fully cultivated, and I'm hoping it will have been drilled as well. Yeah, these are certainly my favourite looking John Deere's. They do look so nice. And now we know there's going to be a 7810 in uh, FS22. All very good news. Oh, there's another one. As we're here, let's just try and remove it. They do usually come in groups, these trees, so there may be some more nearby. Yes, there's one just here. And there we go. Yeah, so I really want to sell some wood. Looks like we have another stump. Actually, it looks like it might be a trunk of uh, a tree which I've left. Good log. <laughs> oh dear. We can delete it as well with the chainsaw if we want to. And there we are at the end. Yeah, so not bad. Obviously, we spent a lot of this episode messing around trying to find a good tractor and cultivator. But now we have done that. I'm very happy with it. We will just be able to get this finished off really quickly next time. And then we can get the drill into here. But yeah, very happy. Such a good mod, that. Let me just remove these stumps. There's probably quite a few in here. Funny though, when you actually enter the field, you can't really see anything. Okay, right, so enough of that. The Massey Ferguson, we need the trailer, which I've left just here. We still need to go and get the mower, actually. Still want to mow the garden. And mow the field boundary. Great demand at the Sunflower Oil Factory. Right, well, we don't have to go too far to get the wood, so that's good. And I'm not going to use the ferry today. We can afford to, because we could pay afterwards. But it's just, with this amount, it's not really going to be worthwhile. When we start clearing the rest of the field, we will use the ferry. £250 a time. No! Ah, uh, almost so close. Can we squeeze one more onto there? If we can, it wants to have most of the weight at the front. Easier said than done. Uh, we should be okay. Yep. Yeah. As you can see, they are some massive logs. So, we should have a thousand, two thousand pounds at least, just in the trailer. That's what I'd hope for anyway. Okay. Back to the water crossing. Well, 
we're here, as you've seen from the time lapse. I really need a new trailer. So I think that is my next thing to buy. A bigger trailer so we can transport more weight. With it being a single axe, it just continuously wants to pick up the tractor because it's completely overloaded. So what do you think? I really can't guess, but I'm going to go with £2,000. If we get two, I'll be very happy. Ah, oh, lovely. 2455. So that brings us out of the dangerous area. Only £150. Uh, it's, oh, I can't believe it. It's already seven minutes past four. I tend to play at times 15, but I've been dropping it back to times five because I sort of need an in-between. I think there is a mod. Thank you to all my viewers who did mention it. You can get an in-between. I'm going to put it back to times five because I do want to get the mower back today and try and improve the look of our garden, the, the back lawn especially. Uh, it's not going to take very long, but we do have to work around the washing line. <laughs> and we can't take the washing in. Of course, I could get the map object hider. Very good mod. I mention it all the time now because it is just so good. You can just hide objects and bring them back again whenever you want to. Because, uh, then, yeah, we could pretend that we're bringing the washing in, taking the washing line in. And taking it out again. Be much easier. I don't have it today, but at some point we might get it put onto this game so that we can do that. Right, I'm just going to park the trailer back in here. And I'll see you over at the port. Oh, hit something. A stump. I should have removed that stump. That would have been perfect reversing otherwise. There we go. There we go. Good. Yes, yeah, like saying uh, on, your, on your driving test or something, uh, it would have been a perfect test if I hadn't hit that car. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll see you over there. Oh, well, the weather's turned. Raining. Uh, I think we can still mow in the rain. It's just the harvesting it doesn't like. So, oh, where am I going? Over here. Yeah, let's go and tidy the yard up. What I want to do is get a flail. Ideally one by North Simulation. It's going to be perfect for this sort of thing. Because we're not really looking to... Uh, well, it probably will still drop grass, but we're not really looking to have the grass anyway from this area. Okay. I'm going to have to go and uh, switch on the real mower. There we go. We now have real mower. So that should mow down the weeds. If I switch it on. Did I switch it on? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it doesn't work with this particular mower. In which case we will need the flail, just to tidy things up. It shouldn't work with this particular mower actually in real life, that would be realistic. You wouldn't want to be cutting down all the brush and stuff with one of these. You'd want a slasher, a topper. Or brush hog is it called in the USA? Brush hog? Not too sure. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to struggle to uh, to tidy the place up very well. Of the weeds. In which case, yep, yeah, we can try a flare, but maybe it just doesn't allow you to do it in this particular area. Still, we can move down the grass. Make everybody dizzy going around the washing line. And that'll do. It's tidy ish. My flowers. Indestructible. Oh wait, did they just go? Nope. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have to try with something different, but if anybody knows otherwise, as to why it's not working, please do let me know. I, I think it, it prob probably is just the mower, but I can't say for sure. Because th that is not the purpose of this mower. It shouldn't be doing that sort of thing. 
Uh, so there we go, it's a miserable day anyway. We'll finish it here. Back tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.